Uh, hello. Um, so now we're going to be dealing, this is part three of the key. Um, so we'll be dealing with sine, cosine, and tangent ratios. Um, for this particular type of question, we're not actually solving anything. We're just going to produce the ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent um, based on the triangle. Um, and since some triangles will be given with values, some will be given with variables, and looks like some will just have side, side I'm sorry, vertices labeled, um, it's going to vary our answer. But all the answers we're looking for are going to be in form of a ratio, like something over something. Um, now, I don't know how your teacher in particular gave you to like remember sine, cosine, and tangent order, um, but the most common convention to remember the difference between sine, cosine, and tangent is going to be Sokotoa. Okay? Um, so Sokotoa is a mnemonic device, mean, meaning it's a word or a phrase that's going to help you remember the order of things. Um, that if you kind of say that to yourself, Sokotoa, 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 um, you'll realize hopefully that the S stands for sine. Okay? The S stands for sine, okay? And then the OH stands for the ratio over H, because sine, if you recall, is gonna be over H. Ka, C, is cosine, and then A over H is gonna be the order, or the ratio, uh, J so over hypotenuse. And then T, of course, stands for tangent. And then over A in the TOA, um, gives you the ratio of ops over adjacent. I would say probably 99.9% .9 of all geometry students everywhere in the world, all throughout history, remember SOKATOA as a way of remembering sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, now in terms of approaching this problem, we're not going to do much different than we have done in the past. Um, the reference angle has been chosen for us, and so the next step is, of course, labeling our sides. Okay, so the one touching is going to be our adjacent. The one opposite is not touching. Okay? And our hypotenuse is going to, of course, be across from the right angle, the longest side in the right triangle. And so if we want sine of B, the angle B, okay, we need opposite over hypotenuse, which in this case should be 80 over 124. 80 over 124. Cosine is going to be A over H. Okay, so adjacent in this case is, is going to give us X, or is going to be X, excuse me. And then hypotenuse is going to be 124. Tangent is over A, opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side to angle B in this case is going to be 80, and our adjacent side is going to be x. Okay, so sine of b, of angle b, the reference angle b is 80 over 124, cosine is x over 124, and then tangent over a is 80 over x. Okay, um, so we'll repeat. Again, a reference angle has been chosen, um, so it's just an issue of now identifying the sides. Okay, so not touching the angle is opposite. Touching the angle, adjacent. Across from the right angle, hypotenuse. Okay, so sine is over H, as in so, so katoa, SOH. Okay, so the opposite side in this particular case is going to be J, because it's just given by a variable. And a hypotenuse is going to be F. Cosine A over H, as in Ka. Okay. Um, theta is going to be our reference angle. So adjacent to theta is going to be uh, side L. And then hypotenuse is going to be side F. Okay. Because remember, when dealing with ratios, it doesn't always have to be numbers. It can be any two things we want in comparison. In this case, it's side lengths just given to us in terms of variables. Tangent, toa, over a, opposite over adjacent. So our opposite side, j, and our adjacent side, uh, l. Okay. 
Now, again, we're not being asked to simplify. We're not being asked to solve. We're just being asked to produce the values. Okay? And so just for clarification's sake, um, the values I'm looking for are going to be these ratios. So 80 over x, which is 124, and uh, 80 over 124, okay? So easy peasy. So it do, this does count on you uh, knowing your sine, cosine, and tangent ratios, but again, by far, SOHCAHTOA um, is the easiest way to remember that, okay? Um, in fact, I know when I was learning this as a student, uh, the very first thing I would always do when I was solving trig problems is I would write SOHCAHTOA on top of my paper so I wouldn't make a silly mistake like um, misremembering the order. Okay, so in this triangle ABC, we have reference angle R. So let's do some labeling. Not touching, opposite. Across from the right angle, hypotenuse. Uh, touching, adjacent. All right, so sine is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, in reference to, side, to angle R, opposite is going to be, well, I don't have a variable, I don't have a number, and so I have to call it by this two-letter side length, BC. And it's hypotenuse, again, got to use two letters here, is going to be AC. Okay, cosine, didn't leave myself so, so much room here, um, but this is going to be A over H. So adjacent to angle R is going to be side AB. And then the hypotenuse, again, we have AC. A okay, tangent, opposite over adjacent. In reference to angle R, the opposite side is going to be BC, the blue side. And then adjacent is our red side, is going to be AB. Okay. And so no matter what format of the triangle we give you, please be prepared to offer us the sine, cosine, or tangent ratios based on your knowledge of sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay. Last set. Okay. Um, so we have the reference angle given to be 64, um, which implies that this is going to be point B. Okay. So again, we have Sokotoa. So sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine over h. Okay. Oh, we didn't label. My fault. Okay, so this is going to be opposite hypotenuse and adjacent. Okay, back to the actual problem. <laughs> so opposite is going to be 48. Oh, we have numbers this time. Okay, great. Uh, hypotenuse is going to be 60. Okay, now we could probably simplify this, like we can take 40 over, 48 over 60 and bring it down um, by dividing both sides by two a few times. But the question doesn't actually ask for that, it just asks to report a ratio, and that ratio is fine. Uh, cosine, ka, give me A over H, so sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, so A over H, adjacent is going to be 36. Hypotenuse is going to be 60. And again, I noticed those are both even numbers and it is reducible, but I just need a ratio and that ratio works for me. Tangent over A, right? So opposite divided by adjacent for tangent. Okay, um, for the reference angle 64, the opposite is going to be 48. Okay, and the adjacent is going to be 36. So pretty straightforward question. It's a little bit tricky the way they're asking it, um, but the takeaway is simple. Um, if you have a right triangle and you know some side lengths and an angle, you can definitely identify sine, cosine, or tangent as a ratio, okay? Um, and this is one of those essential skills. And so like if you don't, if you're not able to remember what sine, cosine, and tangent are, um, and then certainly the next set of problems is gonna go pretty rough for you, okay? Um, so this is where I'm gonna stop part three. I'll pick it back up in part four, where it looks like we will be actually doing trig problems. We're gonna be solving some side links, which is pretty cool.